All right, so we've got, only got about an hour until we gotta go to the motor guide service department, but we're trying to get Hunter a frogfish real quick. We, we, we can only fish for like 30 more minutes. So get Hunter a frogfish, hopefully a big one, and then let's go get my truck motor checked out. There you go. There you go. Oh my gosh. Awesome. It's a good one too. Yeah, it is a good one. He came, he came off. off. <laughs> you guys hit the hook hard, man. It was freaking choked, man. Like it was down there. He had it right too. You, you, you waited. You did everything right except for you just hit it quite hard enough. I think you should have got him there. I mean, goosh. he had it exactly how they supposed to eat it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh man, I mean, choke it. They're out here schooling on shad, and this the shad are just a little bit smaller than this bass. Little be tiny shad eaters. Do not show that to the camera. <laughs> come no. on, let me show. No. Yes, come on. It's not fair. Tell them what happened. I just gave him that rod and now it's on So I just caught two little ones back to back. Hunter made me switch rods. Then I chunked the frog up there on the side of a little brake line and whoosh, smashed the old frog fish. Nice one. So I told a guy um, about two days ago, he asked me when are we, how far away from the good fall bite are we on Chickamauga? And I told him we were two weeks away or three and it's happening now they're schooling on the shad big time right now so pretty good you see miss hunter walking up the boat ramp basically she hasn't been back in a trailer in very long she's tried it off and on a couple times a year for a while but recently she's been trying it more and more and my theory on how she could learn the best is just let her do it and let her figure it out you know she knows she's gonna tear up i trust she's not gonna do anything drastic or panic so we'll just let her mess around with it till she gets it in here usually she does pretty good you know she she learned the first couple times and now she's pretty good at it so maybe she can get it in there pretty quick <laughs> All right, 
right, what's going on? It is fall now. It is actually the second day of fall, first day of fall, something like that. I don't know the officials of it, but me and Hunter drove across a bridge just a second ago, and the Hawassi is back full. Two days ago, it was about a foot and a half low. Today, though, it is full up in the bushes. But guess what? We don't have a usable boat right now. So we're gonna fish off the bank for probably an hour or so and see if we can catch some. I've got some real high percentage areas off the bank. Haven't fished off the bank in probably about, I don't know, eight months. So let's go try to catch some off the bank. Let her catch a frog fish. <laughs> Little Miss Thangs fishing right there, a little covert. And uh, we caught two fish, one drum, one small bass on a frog. And it was a fake out back in those creeks where we drove over the bridge was somehow full and the main river is still like two feet low. It's actually lower. But anyways, about to go home and do a video. I don't do videos like this very often, but I'm gonna do a video of me nothing but talking and showing y'all baits. If y'all wanna see some of the best fall baits in my opinion and my fall approach to the fall season i'm about to go home and show y'all exactly how i attack fall bass on every body of water this is what i always do so we got this big popeye's cup in the middle popeye's is three comment down below popeye's or chick-fil-a which one's better what are you doing you gotta ask me questions i thought you said i was a cameraman not the interviewer Both. Kyle Welcher, where are we and what are you drinking? I am drinking a Burger King. I need a sponsor Burger King. Vanilla coffee. Iced coffee. So I figured out that if you tell them you want a latte, it's like a dollar fifty more and tastes the same. So we don't do that no more. Okay, where are we? You did still didn't We're in Cherokee, North Carolina, one of mine and Hunter's favorite places to go. We used to come here about four or five times a year. Have not been here. I ain't been here since last June. So like, I don't know, how many months ago is that? 15 months ago? And Hunter hadn't been here in probably two years. So, gonna go try to find some elk. Played poker last night. Got him a little. Got him, but it was just for a little. And gonna go back and play this evening. Okay, everybody. There is no elk out right now. So we're gonna try to sneak up on some baby trout. One second. Look at behind me. That's the beautiful Lake Hartwell. We're over here fishing the BFL Regional right now. And that has absolutely nothing to do with the video you just watched. The video you just watched was one day where me and Hunter went fishing up the Hawassi and they were blowing up on shed, but we only fished for like an hour and 15 minutes. And then we went to, I don't know where all we went in this video, but we was fishing around, fished off the bank, lost some footage and traveled a bit. So. That's what we've been doing for the past little while. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. As always, leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate you guys, and we'll have some cool videos coming out over the next month. Fishing three decent-sized tournaments, so hit that subscribe button. Hit turn the alerts on so you get the notifications because going to be some cool videos coming out.